Hey guys, it's Elizabeth. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a very special video for me. I got in the mail just a couple minutes ago the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Palette Volume 1. I am so excited to see this, open it, swatch it, use it, everything. So I thought I would open it and everything with you guys. When I saw that this was coming in the mail today, I put my whole day around the filming. Okay, here's what it looks like inside. Let's see, oh, that's the receipt. We don't need that. She used the recyclable, recyclable. Oh, and inside it says, beautiful Beautiful is your story to tell. XO Tati. Oh, that is so pretty. This is a nice box. And there's not a lot of wasted space with the box, which I really like. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the wrapping of the package. This is so nice because it's better than the plastic bubble wrap as far as the environment goes. So I am really happy that she used this, even though I am not surprised at all because Tati is very big into not using more packaging that's required and trying to just re reduce your footprint on the planet. This is the outer sleeve. This is what it looks like. And on the back, we have the ingredients. And here we have the front of this gorgeous palette. It is bronzy gold color and the letters are raised. It is a nice size. It's big, but not too big. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh my gosh. It is even prettier than everything I have seen online. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is the prettiest palette I've ever seen. Wow, that is a nice plastic protector. I know it seems strange, but the nicer the plastic protector, the nicer I think the palette is. Wow, they weren't kidding when everyone said how big this mirror is. Look, I know you're gonna see the camera and everything, but look at how big that mirror is. Okay, so let's go through this. There are four textures and they go horizontally. And then we have six different tones, shades, color families, and those go vertically. So in the bottom we have memory, ritual, story, soothe, aura, and poet. We have glitter, metallic, sequin, and matte. As you can see, there are no shade names. So what the shades are is this would be, what is that, memory? That would be memory matte or matte memory, and that'd be memory sequin, memory metallic, and memory glitter. I know that some people are split down the middle as to whether they like that type of naming, but I think it is genius, especially because I have a hard time remembering shade names, and I think it's fun to see the story behind shade names and everything I really do. But when I am trying to tell somebody what color I'm using, a lot of times it's really hard for me to remember the name to be able to tell them. And so this way, it's gonna be a lot easier for me. So I think that's just genius. I've never seen it before. And I just think that it is very innovative and I really like it. I'm so excited to swatch these. Okay, here we go. I guess we should just go in order. All right, so we'll go Poet and we'll head this way. Here we have Poet Matte. Wow. Here's Poet Sequin. I don't know if you can, oh yeah, you can see that there. Wow. And then here is Poet Metallic. I've heard so much about these glitters. These are pressed glitters. And normally when you use a pressed glitter, you have to use some sort of glitter glue or some sort of medium on your eyes to have it stick. But what I've seen from people is that these swatch just like regular shadows. All right, here we go. Poet glitter. No. <gasps> oh my gosh. So here we have Poet. Oh, and these are gluten-free and cruelty-free. Oh, look, I just got goosebumps from this. That's crazy. The glitters really do come off nice. Normally you have glitter everywhere. We're next gonna go into Aura. These are so smooth and silky. Even the metallics. Aura sequin and Aura metallic. Those are a little harder to see on my skin tone. The sequin has almost a pinkish reflect 
in it. I don't think that you'll be able to see that on camera. Definitely you can see it in person. And the way that Tati described the sequin is they're a matte shadow with a little bit of reflect in them and the light will hit it just right and you'll see like that little glimmer. All right, let's go to the Aura Glitter. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is almost like a rainbow color. Okay, now we're gonna go in with Soothe, which is this row right here. And this is more of your tan shades. I would imagine this is more like your transition shades. We have Soothe Matte, Soothe Sequin, and Soothe Metallic. So there we have Soothe. The Sequin on Soothe probably has the least reflect in it and it has just a tiny bit of it looks like maybe gold in there here is soothe glitter all right here we go bon, da, da, da. and you can go over top of it that's insane so there we have soothe i cannot wait to use these i'm already trying to figure out what i want to do we're going to go into story which is the burnt orange okay Oh, that's pretty. There's the story mat. There's, whoa, story sequin. And here's story metallic. Here we go. Okay, now it's time to go into story glitter. Here we go. And there we have the story glitter and all the other ones. Normally, I know I go a lot faster, but I am really just taking my time and enjoying this. Brown family ritual. Ritual Matte, Ritual Sequin, Ritual Metallic. The matte, that didn't swatch as well as the other mattes, but that really doesn't bother me too much. I have swatch shadows that I thought were horrible, and then when I went to use them, they were magnificent, and vice versa. Here's the Ritual Sequin. So really, when it comes to, oh, that's pretty. All right, there we have Ritual. And so the true test with any of these are going to be how they work on your eyes. Because your arm, now I don't know if you knew this, but your arm is different than your eyes. So because they're different from each other, you really can't use what happens on your arm, especially the outside hairy part of your arm, as a gauge for how a shadow is going to work. Crazy, I know. I would much rather have a shadow swatch really crappy and apply really well. Well, duh. No, I'd rather have it look good on my arm, but bad on my eyes. Sometimes the stuff I say, I'm just like, what is wrong with you? Okay, memory, blacks. Wow. Sequin. And here's metallic. Wow, is that pretty. Holy Toledo, look at those three real fast. The metallic here is almost a duochrome, it seems. The sequin has like a pink and gold in it. All right, let's see how this glitter does. All right, here, let's do this. Look at those together. Okay, just to give you an example of, let's see, what do we have that's close? All right, we'll use this one and then this one. All right, they're kind of close. But here is a pressed glitter. So we are like, I don't know, a thousand years into this and we haven't even gotten to trying them on. I am going to start with my all over color with the Aura Matte. I've already primed my eyes. I used the MAC Paint Pot and Painterly to prime them. I am going to use, this is just an e.l.f. fluffy brush to just go in and put this. One thing that I did here, and it is true, is that if you can see that, there is some kickback. And what Tati said was that you can just gently press, that you don't need a lot of pressure with the shadows. And how she explained it was that she would rather have the kickback in the pan and the shadow be softer because it blends a lot better and easier. 
which for me is a trade-off I will take any day. But if you do tap lightly, there is hardly any kickback in the pan. I think I wanna go into Soothe Matte right here for my transition shade. And I am going to use another sort of fluffy brush. And these are pigmented. I think I say pigmented funny. I really do. Cause most people when they say it, and I hear it, it doesn't sound weird. But when I say it, I feel like it sounds weird. These are really easy to blend. I'll do the other side real quick. Okay, next color. I'm thinking a little story and a little poet. I think though next, I really do want to go in with poet. But I think instead of going in with this poet, I'm going to use the sequin poet right here. I think I want to do a little bit of metallic on the lid now. Let's go in first with metallic ritual. I like to put it on my ring finger and then I am just going to put that onto the lid. It's probably a little darker than what I would have wanted, but we'll just start with this one, shall we? We can just layer these puppies up. Let's try over top story metallic. Here we have story metallic. And this is Soothe Metallic. This is a more rosy, goldy, pinky. I don't know, I'm not always the best at colors. Let's put this over top now. Now I'm gonna put the Soothe over top of that. And we're just gonna use every single color. Let's actually go in with, um, oh, there we go. I just hit it with Poet on top. Now let's redo what we just did because we have to do it on both sides so that they match. Okay, we're going over with Metallic Story, Metallic Soothe, and then Metallic Poet. I do think what I want to do is go in with a little bit of Ritual, which is the brown, and I'm just gonna hit that in the crease. It's just gonna break up the Cranberry Story color from the metallics on my eye. I think I want to go in first with Poet Sequin, just on the inner part of the eye. And I'm going to use this brush. It's pretty dense and flat and just, oh wow. Hello. Okay. It's over all that dark color. Look at that. That's over those dark colors. I kind of want to see what happens to this if you wet it. Well, let's try it. Nothing bad can really happen, can it? It brings out the reflex in it a little bit more. Let's hit the other side again. I know I'm really doing a lot, but maybe it's just me thinking that. I don't know. And I definitely want to try that black. Let's go in and see how this goes. I barely touched that in there. So that black does not only swatch mega black, it applies that way too. Now, glitter. I definitely want to lighten this up and I do want to get away from the cranberries a little just to add some aura glitter is the one. Okay, but before the glitter, let's do the eyebrow bone in the inner corner of the eye. And let's go with the Aurora Metallic to do that. Okay, let's hit that part. I'm just putting a tiny bit on my finger and then we're just gonna, oh. Are you kidding? Okay, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna wanna get this palette and you're gonna start using it and you're gonna love it. And then you're gonna get to the part where you're like, okay, do I play with the glitter? I'm not quite sure, how will it do? And then you're gonna put the glitter on your eyes and everything that you felt for this palette is going to go through the roof a million fold. Okay, here we have it. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm gonna put on some liner and lashes and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on this Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Palette Volume 1. I'm sure it's gonna be really hard for you guys to figure out how I feel about it, but I will be back in just a second. This is probably, I have to say, favorite makeup look ever, hands down. Now it is time for me to give my final thoughts on the Tati Beauty Textured Neutral Palette Volume 1. This is a makeup masterpiece. 
and I cannot get over it. There are so many looks that you can come up with in here. Sleek, elegant, shiny, glittery, fun, subtle. I really expected just from watching everything, I knew that this was gonna be good, but it is not until you actually touch it and use it that you realize how flippin' amazing it really is. 24 shades, $48. It is worth every penny. I only have one sort of semi-negative thing to say about this palette, and that is I wish I would have bought two so that I could give one to my mom because my mom is starting to experiment with a little bit of textures, and I know she would love this palette. That is the only regret I have with this palette. This was probably one of the most fun videos I have made from personally from my side. I love just sitting down and playing with the colors, not having anything really planned out, and just experimenting and enjoying the colors. That is one of my favorite parts of makeup. It is relaxing to me. It grounds me. It helps me to de-stress. It allows me to be creative. Makeup is a huge release for me from just all of the things that can be tough in life. And if you are fortunate enough to find that one thing that enables you to just escape for a little bit, and makeup I have found is mine. And so when I find someone that is inspirational to me and I find something that I really love, it for me is, I can't believe I'm getting emotional. For me, it's just not makeup. For me, it is getting through every day fighting with the Lyme disease. And so when people inspire me and when I can find something that I really love, it really just, oh, I can't believe this. It brings just this happiness. And I know it may seem silly to some, but it takes for just a little bit, it takes all of that away for me. And for that, I do wanna, whew, Thank you guys so much for coming along and doing this. If Tati ever sees this video, I'd like to thank her for an amazing palette and just being an inspiration and helping me through many sick days when I couldn't get out of bed and I had her videos to watch. No, 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 I love my makeup. You have got to be kidding me. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. My favorite makeup day and I get emotional? That is crazy. I had no clue that this was gonna happen. Thank you guys. This is another way that I find that comfort is through making these videos and sharing them with you guys. I do it for me because of what it brings to me and my self-confidence and my self-worth and to know that even if it's just a few or I don't know, maybe one day a lot, but if it just makes one person's day better to watch, then I've done something that I am insanely proud of. So again, just thank you guys so, so much for watching. And um, I always forget. Make sure you like this video if you enjoyed watching me do the review of the Tati Beauty palette. And if you wanna see more reviews, hit that thumbs up button and leave me a comment on if you've gotten the palette, if you're gonna get the palette or any other reviews that you may like me to do. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys again so much. It means the world to me to have you guys with me along this journey. And so until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.